So from How to Lavu, I do use a lot of their products, but since I wanted to start a really strict anti-aging skincare routine, I've just been using their red line. It comes mostly in this red packaging. I do think that they have like two more steps, like a sheet mask and something else that I haven't found yet, but um, other than that, I've been using these every single night. I do have very dry, sensitive skin. I would see that when I used retinol, I would have to like sacrifice one thing in order to get something but with japanese products especially anti-aging i feel like if you do have dry sensitive skin i recommend it because you're not sacrificing being really dry but not having wrinkles you can be really hydrated and not have wrinkles so you get both the best of both worlds so let's just get into the products. This is their Retinol Skincare Lotion or Emulsion. So it's a very lightweight lotion. Okay? You only really need two to three drops to treat your whole face. So I put it into my palms and then I rub it together and then I just pat it into my skin. And this is not really supposed to really set or like lock in anything. It's really just a first step to keep prepping your skin for the other steps. It's very similar as far as hydration goes compared to like their other uh, lotions and emotions they offer. But this one in particular has the retinol in it, not just hyaluronic acid, but retinol in it. So you're gonna get that extra ingredient that's going to help with the wrinkles and fine lines. So I love this one. So after I do do the emulsion slash lotion, I go in with a very concentrated serum. This is actually, I mistake this, I thought it was from all the same line, but this is actually a different brand. So it comes like this and it's a concentrated wrinkle serum. Applicator, the droplet, it has a little, if you could tell, it's like kind of bent. So it's really precise in putting on to your lines. It doesn't really have any scent to it or fragrance. It's just a very good standard anti-aging serum. It absorbs quickly into the skin. So I love using this and I do find that for a drugstore serum, this has been showing me results. So since I do concentrate it on the areas it says, I found that in the morning time, my skin looks a lot more plumper there. I am really curious though, if I go through the whole bottle, what those areas are going to look like but so far so good i haven't skipped a night of it and i've really already seen a difference in those like little lines and the little puffiness um, where i concentrate this product so the next step that i do is their one of their most popular products and it's their lift gel so it's a moisturization gel that has retinol and hyaluronic acid one of the only gels or creams i've ever tried that has the finish to make your skin feel a lot more plump and have more elastic elasticity to it so once you're doing all the steps you will see once you put on this firming gel that the finish of your skin is going to feel almost like a lightweight sticky glue i know it seems weird and at first too when i was like getting into all the the anti-aging steps i was like is this supposed to be this my skin feels so loaded like like it has glue on it but don't be alarmed, you will get used to it and that's how you know that you have done the steps in the right order. I've never really found a gel moisturizer that does work or does anything for me, um, but this one really does. I do think that it's not as moisturizing as some of the other products that they offer, but as far as the lifting, firming, and elasticity goes, it does do that. So after I do do all of those steps, I do one last thing and I use the anti-aging concentrated cream. This is more of a concentrated cream, so you don't want to use it all over your face because it has higher contents of retinol. You want to just use it where you get fine lines or wrinkles or where you want to prevent them. Just because if you do use this all over your face, it is very sticky and very tacky like the other products are, but it will clog your pores. Um, at first, I was using it all over within with those steps as well, and I did notice that my skin was getting kind of congested around my nose areas and where I have like more oily spots so i really suggest just to use this on your problem areas where you want to treat and where you want to prevent wrinkles so this little cream is key and it's very powerful so i suggest if you wanted to try out anything within the line and incorporate it in nighttime um, to pick up this cream right so those were all of the steps for the new anti-aging steps that i have been doing within my skincare routine at night i've really loved it i've really seen a difference i do use a skin conditioner and sheet mask i couldn't just use these steps on its own and 
yeah, feel satisfied. I gotta do a little bit more, but looking for a really inexpensive anti-aging skincare routine, I really suggest to check out these products just because they're super affordable, they're really effective, and you don't sacrifice hydration. I mentioned as well is please remember to wear sunscreen. I know I used to lack on that a lot, but I made it a habit in my morning time skincare routine to put a sunscreen every single day, even if it's cloudy outside or rainy or dark just because sunscreen is really going to help protect your skin and one of the most aging factors is the environment and the sun so just keep that in mind that being said i hope that you found my japanese anti-aging skincare routine helpful if you have any questions please leave it down below don't forget to subscribe for more skincare videos and i will see you in my next video bye